Hi you guys, I'm back and I'm coming back with my tofu scramble. I told you guys I was going to come back after I did the fried tofu and I'm here and um, I'm about to break it up. It's been sitting actually a little less than three days, but I kept squeezing it. So I'm just breaking it up right now. As you can see, you can choose your side, the size of it. It's on you. I like mine broken up real small. Any little extra water you want to squeeze out because it takes longer. If you do have water in it, give yourself at least about 45 minutes to really have some good scramble. If not, you can go ahead and probably cook it less than 25 minutes. Let me show you guys. This is how I broke mine up. Since I'm cooking it for 25 minutes, I'm going to add all those ingredients. You have all your antioxidants. You have everything that you need to help you get or keep or protect you from heart disease it's very good for boosting your immune system as well all this is good so I add all this in sometimes I wait on my tomatoes if I want to still have that fresh taste or your green onions but other than that I add all that in turn my grease on up Any color bell peppers you have, you want to keep it. I'm going to add all this because I want to cook this maybe at 15 minutes. So I cooked up, uh, turned up my grease. I'm still going to add my tomatoes in last. And my mushrooms. I don't like for those to overcook. Several ways you can make this. I'll show you other ways as well. Or I can tell you green onions. Tomatoes and curry is just as good with salt and pepper. Very good. Sometimes I just keep that in chunks. I'm going to mix this up real good. I left this out because it was still kind of frozen. I'm going to wait and squeeze it and I add it on in. I just want to break it up a little bit more. Because we did have ice in it. My refrigerator is on nine. But, um... Gonna mix this up, let it cook down. I love my fats. Anytime you want that greasy taste and you don't have any animal products in it, just add you some oil. Healthy oil though. Great sea oil, sunflower oil, olive oil. Sometimes I use coconut oil. Still want to be careful. Anything that you having a lot of, you still want to be careful on what you add into your body. Too much is still too much. No matter how healthy it is. It's best to eat your fruits and vegetables at its whole state. That means it's natural, straight from the ground. Not a lot of chemicals in it. You have to get the ones with, with chemicals in it. Try to buy less of it. If you can. If not, it's okay. I'm going to cook that, but at the same time, I add all my ingredients because I wanted to cook faster. You know, I don't like long videos. Please season it how you like. Usually I put peppers in there. If I'm sharing it, I won't put as much. Or I use crushed peppers at the last minute. A little cayenne. You really want a lot of chili peppers. I'm making Pakistan style. I like that style for some reason when I'm using tofu. Same way you would cook your eggs, all these ingredients. The main ingredients is cumin. It's real good. Give you a whole different flavor. Let you taste different cultures when you add just one different seasoning. Add 
and a lot of that from um my children's papu so i ate a lot of pakistani and indian food i loved it so sometimes i have a craving for it and i would still use the ingredients and just switch up on my um protein Go ahead and add this. Because usually I can eat this whole thing by myself. If I got it too, too spicy, nobody else will eat it. My husband will. But me and my daughter, my baby girl, we're going to tear this up. So at the beginning, if anybody want any, I will not add too much spices. See, I can look at this and tell I want extra seasoning on it just by the way it looks because this will be my only meal maybe sometimes throughout the day so I will actually put everything in one meal that I need I want to cook all this all the way down Still like to break all that up because I still want that same texture of small little bitty pieces of scramble. Remember to drain your tofu. If you don't drain it and you want to cook it in one day, this will be filled with water. That's why it will take longer, 45 minutes. But I'm breaking this down to 15. I got my heat. If you can see that. I love to cook. I love to come up with different recipes. At the same time, while we're waiting, I'm going to show you something else. Please, you guys. All that is still good. You don't want to waste anything, especially if you're short on food. Use all that. Don't let any of that go to waste. The same little pieces, I'll use in something else tomorrow. Put it in your freezer. But make sure you get everything you need off of what you bought. You don't want nothing to go to waste. You paid your money, your hard-earned money, and you just need a little piece here and there. Go ahead and get all that. Get every little bit counts. So since it's just a few pieces, I'm going to add it on in here. Right, son. The sound of it, I love it. At the same time, I'm gonna show you guys. Either you use toast, or you can put it in a burrito. Put it in a burrito if you like. Okay, I got a few minutes. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. As I'll be cutting off in a little bit. All I'm doing is adding just a little bit. Avocado. Just a few slices. You don't want to put too much, okay? Then you will add just a little bit. Just a little bit. You can wrap it and eat it like this. Or you go ahead and fold it. These are a little bit of wrap, so you just want to be very careful on how much you put in there. The thing about the cut off. You know I like short videos anyway, but this is it. 
Thank you guys. <laughs>